Hi everybody, this is Jeff from the Front Range Community College Library. Today we're going to talk about how to use ProQuest to generate MLA citations from the articles that you find in ProQuest. Okay, so I have a list of articles here. I'm going to open up this first one. When this opens up, uh, it gives you kind of a general citation here, which is nice, but if you want some help in putting together a good MLA citation, you can click right here this button that says cite and by default it's going to generate an MLA 7th edition citation now if you want you can change that let's say to APA is another popular one but for the purpose of this video let's just say we're going to do MLA so it, it generated this citation what I'm going to do is highlight the text of this citation and then I'm going to copy it and I just right clicked it and I'm going to click copy. You could also do control C on your keyboard. So we have it copied now and I'm going to go into a Word document that's going to be the paper that I'm writing and the last page of my paper in an MLA paper is going to say works cited. It's going to list all the articles and books and information sources I used to write my paper. So I'm going to paste this in now and it pastes in this text and it looks pretty good but there are some problems with it so let's talk about how to fix this to make it look right I mean first off you can tell it's not the same font as this and it's also it looks like it's a little bit lighter color of font so we can fix that also this second and third lines should be indented over in what's called a hanging indent so I'm gonna we're gonna fix all this stuff now I'm gonna highlight it first let's deal with the font so I'm gonna change this to Times New Roman and then we need to make it 12 points. So on the size we're going to make it 12. And also the, the color is a little bit off. It looks a little bit lighter color. You can't see it there, but if we click off, notice how it's a little bit lighter color. So I'm going to go up here to this little button here with the A. This, this will tell me what kind of, you can see uh, the pop-up. I'm not sure if you can see the pop-up in the video, but it says font color. So I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to choose black. Okay, the basic black and it's up here, the automatic one and then now you can see it, the colors match just a little bit darker it should look as you know it's a, you might think that's a little bit picky but it does make a difference when you turn this in okay so now let's deal with the uh, the indent I'm gonna click right here where it says paragraph there's a little arrow right there if I click that arrow I'm gonna change the special indentation to a hanging indentation and I'm gonna change the spacing to double spacing and then I'm gonna click don't add space between paragraphs of the same style and then it's gonna indent it over and it looks like you have a pretty good citation here let me uh, let's do some checking just for any grammatical errors capitalization everything seems to look pretty good and uh, that looks good so let me return here to the next line and then we will look for another one in just a second okay so now we're gonna go find another citation going back to ProQuest we just grabbed this one here let me go into the second article or the fourth one there and when this opens up again we've got the little site button up here on the top I'm gonna click there by default it's gonna give us an MLA 7th edition citation we're gonna highlight all the text copy it go back into the Word document and I'm gonna paste this citation in there okay and it looks a little bit funny just like the other one so I'm gonna fix it by highlighting all the text we're going to uh, go up here and set the font to Times New Roman 12 point and since and to match the color up to make sure it's the same color black I'm gonna click that right there not the same color now we have to fix this uh, indentation here gonna go over here to paragraph that little arrow on paragraph and let's change this to double spacing and give it a hanging indent don't add extra space and there we go we have a pretty good looking citation there now let's look this over for any errors capitalization errors sometimes seem to be kinda common with these databases now I, I noticed one error here it's from this journal psychological medicine and the second that letter should be capitalized on medicine so always with these citation generators double check them for errors but those look like a couple of good citations uh, definitely double check everything on these 
And that's the basics of how you use ProQuest to create citations. If you have any questions, please contact me and I can go over this with you one-on-one -on -one or over the phone or through email, whatever you want. Thanks a lot. Until next time, this is Jeff signing off.